Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStory.com and today we uh, are just giving you another little update here on the 58 Impala Coupe that we're working on. Um, so we have it on the rotisserie. We've been doing quite a bit of work preparing the body um, for the next step which is going to be media blasting or sand blasting the car. So there's been a lot in the last video we shared with you, like for example in the trunk, um, camera can probably pick it up a little bit, we've loosened up a lot of the caulking and product that was in around the brackets and um, some little patches and stuff that were done. So we've kind of scraped the biggest part off to expose the rusted out areas and then the sand blaster, if you see the bracket on the passenger rear wheel well, same kind of thing. That was all filled in with a bunch of like tar-like substance. So uh, we got the biggest part of that out. We're probably going to have to replace the tub. Um, so we'll do some more scraping later if we need to, but that'll probably be uh, cut out and repaired. And then as we come around the quarter panel and down the side of the car, um, so uh, obviously we have everything prepared here. Because the sand blaster could potentially do some damage to these the flatter panels, we've done all this by hand. The sections that are strong reinforced areas, such as this ribbed area and around the taillights, it's perfect for the sand blaster and it would save a lot of time uh, with hand tools and air tools to try and get all this off. So um, it'll be very efficient with the sand blaster. Um, now, if you see that pile that we have here of undercoating, I think the camera can probably pick that up. So that is half of the scraping. We've already shoveled and, and disposed of another pile like that. That's how much uh, undercoating substance was sprayed in certain areas or brushed on. I'm not really sure because it's a really, really thick product and it's older. So you can see um, how thick that is. And it, inside around the wheel wells and in the floor sections, they have a lot of this material. Now, if we didn't take the time to, to remove this off the inner wheel wells, which we'll show you in a moment, um, the sand blaster you would assume would be able to blast all this away it actually bounces off of this. It would also bounce off of any area that has heavy body filler on or Bondo. Um, it, it'll bounce off of that where you would assume it would just simply blow it away. So it's a very important step. We have to make sure that we get majority of this off. So if we look under the wheel well here, so we're on the passenger side rear wheel well and hopefully the camera can pick it up. So you can see inside the splash panel, underneath the quarter panel, you can see this brownish color or the kind of like a rose color. That would have been the original color of the car in 58. And then this kind of product, you can see how thick that is and see how it's rotted away here. Um, they had this kind of sitting and plugged up in there and then spray a bunch of material over top to hide the, stu the structural problems. So the whole wheel well now before, and hopefully the camera can pick it up, you can see the factory stamps these ribs in the panels which provide extra strength and stability for the car. And this product was so thick, you can see some residue on the edges, but the product that was on here was so thick you couldn't see any of the ribbing let alone the rusted through areas. So that's why we take the time to remove all of that undercoating and heavy stuff out of the way first um, and then it's going to be a much more thorough and uh, proper job when it comes to sand blasting which is going to be our next step. So um, as we come further down the side you'll see the rear uh, differential and the brackets for it. We now have everything removed. So at last time you saw this rear diff um, it still had the drum brakes and all the components. Well, we, we're going to be replacing the axle seal and bearing um, when we go to, to redo everything. So what we want to do is we want to sandblast the hub, the backing plate, and all of this kit. So we like to do it as a unit. So we'll be taking it um, outside and we'll sandblast this whole section and then we'll bring it inside and we'll prepare for the next step which is going to be the epoxy to seal the bare steel. So once again there's quite a bit of undercoating on the floor. That's about half of what came out of the bottom of the chassis or the body part of the chassis and um, so the next step we'll share with you is with the car in the frame sandblasted 
and we'll show you how that turns out. So thank you for watching. This is the 58 Chevin Pala. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.